Hey guys, what's happening? So, another day, another issue. So, my refrigerator stopped cooling off last night. I noticed it last night. Uh, my water was warm. I wanted to get some water in the refrigerator, but the refrigerator is working because the freezer actually works. It's open. Um, the freezer side works. And the cool thing is, uh, refrigerators are really basic in design. So, um, I did some troubleshooting last night. And normally there's a cover here, and that's all the cold air. If you're not familiar with refrigerators, all the cold air comes into this vent from this vent right here. And I know the vent is open because I can stick a skewer all the way to the freezer side. So all the cold air that goes in the refrigerator side comes from that vent right there, and it's open and it's controlled by this right here. See this little metal thing right here? This actuator that opens and closes. This is called the uh, damper. I can't remember the exact name of it, but. Yeah, it's definitely open because I'm getting the freezer and I can touch it. So all the complicated stuff is on the freezer side. The condenser, the fan, the uh, defroster. So I'm sus suspecting that there's something wrong with the defroster and there's some kind of ice buildup in here. But I won't know until I get in there. But uh, this is kind of one of the reasons why I, buy, I don't buy super high-tech uh, appliances because um, this thing's been running flawless for 10 years. And... You know, when, when, when the appliance is too high tech, you can't find replacement parts for it, like the control bars, the electronics. So if you stick with something that's, you know, pretty basic, you know, then, you know, it's easy to find the replacement parts. If you want to fix it yourself, I guess. Actually, but, I forgot to mention this. This is actually a Kenmore uh, 1065702062. And uh, I think this is made by Whirlpool, so. All right, so all the magic happens on this side of the uh, refrigerator. Uh, a sink I have on top here and as you can see this vent that vent right there if you can still see it all the cold air comes out here and, and uh, freezes the ice cubes the ice cube maker what I'm really concerned about is right in there that little spot right there that little dimple uh, all right so I've got that little cover off it's hard for me to get in here but the airflow comes up from down here and then it goes up here goes to there and also at the same time feeds the ice cube maker I don't even think you can take out the uh, ice cube thing, maker, I don't think. There's just a couple screws in there, you can see that in there. One on each side, get those off. Get that vent off there. All right, found the culprit. That's the actual, the, the cold air inlet to the refrigerator side. And that's actually what just fell out of it. A big piece of ice right there. So, that was it. So I know it's not the, the uh, defroster because the defroster is way down at the bottom. So it's just sending cold air back up to the top through this channel right here and into there. Right, so, so another odd issue is that right now with the bolt doors open, I'm getting good flow, right? I have a good vent flow. But as soon as I close the freezer door, like the, the flow stops. So I suspect I have some sort of like ventilation or circulation problem. So I'm going to take off this. Uh, the, uh, all right, so here we go. I got the cover off, and the good news is my defroster is working. Because if the defroster wasn't working, this whole thing would be crazy frozen. So that's the heater element down there, that black thing right there. But my thought was that the return vent is clogged up, which is in here, creating a negative pressure situation where it won't allow new flow air to come in if it doesn't come back out. So there's also another vent in this refrigerator down there. But gotta figure that out. See where the uh, flow is restricted. So I'm gonna use my heat gun to break up that ice. Alright, guys, yeah, figure it out where it's having issues. Right there, that's the return vent. A little dirty, sorry about that. But this is the re main return vent back to the uh, refrigerator or to the, uh, the freezer section, going back up to that hole that I showed you. All right, I gotta get the ice off here. All right, so I think I have an issue there. <laughs> All right, so to help free up that ice, I'm pouring hot water down it. And it goes to the bottom of that catch pan right there. So they're linked together. So. I can hear ice coming out. My catch pan's probably full, but. I've got the vent going again, so the uh, negative pressure situation's handled now. So 
I'm actually getting return airflow. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything mechanically wrong with the refrigerator. I just sometimes my kid doesn't close the refrigerator door all the way, and it allows air hot air to get in. I think that was creating the uh, icing situation. But cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. All right. Awesome.